All right, everyone, we're battling the elements today. Could get absolutely downpoured on at any second. We've got the Fission Dimension, the Eagle McMahon Wind Dragon, 166 gram. We're on the back nine at Hornet's Nest. So we're going to play as many holes as we can. Let's see if we can't throw a few good shots with the Wind Dragon. Oh, I'd expected a little more flip. Okay, maybe this one's a little more stable than the last one I threw. We got an unfortunate kick with the Wind Dragon. At least we wound up in the middle. Got a new K3 Berg in the bag. Somehow I've lost my orange one that I've had. It was one of my first discs ever. That'll put. Had to put the very rare floating island K3 Berg into the bag. All right, it's gonna be a par. Apparently this is hole eight, not hole nine. Hole nine, 472, par four. Oh, this dimension, if I can get a little bit of turn through the gap moving right, I th it'll have the stability to come back to the end. Oh, that dimension is definitely a bit more stable than Jeremy's I threw the other day. Not necessarily a bad thing, just not quite what I was expecting. All right, the dimension from the long tee is somewhere over there. I've got the detour for the short tee. Might as well get a bonus throw in. Oh, yeah. That's what they call birdie, folks. All right, we put the dimension in a little bit of a weird spot, but thankfully I've been working on my Berg forehand rollers. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a putt. That'll play. All right, just inside pixel range, right about 62 feet. Oh, a touch short. All right, I'm starting to feel like this fission dimension might actually be not beefy, but like neutral. Let's see how it flies on a little bit of Annie forehand. Fission time lapse. Oh, 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 that's a tough <laughs> line. That's crazy. All right. That dimension shot was absolutely bun. So we're going to put this time lapse one here. Pixel. Swing. Oh, a little long. Wow. Thing is so glidey. Hole 11, 315 feet. This is the perfect hole for the dimension. We should need to hit this left side gap flat. Let her fade towards the pin. Oh, the dimension, man. I need my time lapse. Somebody get the sky time lapse. There really is a big difference in hand feel from 14 and a half speed to 12. Oh, she's flippy. Back door. Wow. That's circle's edge, I think. All right. When all else fails, throw your fission photon. Yep, that's absolutely parked. Get in the hole. Oh. <laughs> Woo! I didn't bring it out today, but I also do have the new MVP trail, which I really think ties together the whole MVP distance driver lineup. Now that they have the fission time lapses, which is like the people's time lapse, they've got these dimensions I think are going to be relatively hit or miss. I think if you're, you have a comfortable feel in hand with a rim that wide, you're going to really enjoy it because it is so fast. It goes really far. And if you have the arm speed to get it up to speed and you don't mind the feel in hand, you're really going to love how far that thing flies for you. But then the trail really ties things together in that 10 speed. Then if you need that little more push, as you saw, I have the photon in there as well. I used to always roast the uh, MVP and Axiom distance driver lineup because they never used to have drivers that were domey or went far. And now with the dimension, the time lapse, all these fission discs are really awesome. And normal people can throw them far without throwing 75 miles an hour. So we had the time lapse that went a little long in the basket. And then we also had the photon that missed the ace by probably an inch. That was a really nice shot. We're here, hole 13, 820 foot par five. This is the uh, where we find the truth once and for all, the dimension versus the time lapse. We're gonna go time lapse first so we know what we need to beat with the dimension.
That time lapse bombs, dog. All right. That's actually going to be a tall order to beat with this dimension. <laughs> All right, I need to go a lot flatter. It's not nearly as flippy as the time lapse. Ugh! Let's see. Right, that's about as similar as I can throw them because they fly so differently. We got, that might be close. We had to go up there and check that out. Comment below which one went farther. Those fission time lapses are absolutely incredible. I was the world's biggest hater of the neutron time lapse. I just think they were so absurdly overstable that they were borderline unusable. But the time lapse has totally been redeemed in my book. And that time lapse is my main driver right now. I've really been enjoying it on backhand as well as forehand. And fans out there, I've got some unfortunate news. We got the dimension here. And then about 15 feet farther, we've got ye old Simon Lazat time lapse. So it's Simon one, Eagle zero. All right, now we're right inside detour range. We need to throw the fattest turnover of my life to the gap. We should be able to lay up for an easy birdie on this difficult par five. Yep, oh, that tr the one twig on the whole fairway. That just cut that shot in its prime. Super unfortunate, hit that one little twig. I've got the neutron ion in hand. Might as well just toss it right in. <gasps> oh! All right, hole 14, 250 feet, and I can't think of a better disc than a 14 and a half speed for this 250 foot hole. But then we'll also throw the tangent turnover. Oh, there it is. Give him the skip ace. That was online. All right, we also have the discontinued neutron tangent turnover line. Welcome to the gauntlet. Hole 15 at Hornet's Nest is one of the most feared holes in all of North Carolina. We've got the dimension and the time lapse. The dimension, I mean, we have to hit it flat. The, the hyzer flip is more my play, so I, we're going to see what happens. Who knows? Dimension first. If I can put this through that gap, it's going to be a miracle. This disc is so wide. Oh, local route. Climb. Oh, that was so lucky. Let's go. All right. Now we have the time lapse. Should be a little more true of a line. Nope. Same line. I never in a million years thought I'd be able to hit the hyzer two times in a row with those discs. Let's go. All right, to get a birdie look on the gauntlet is absolutely insane. Time lapse to pixel, the Simon line birdie. Yep, bam. Splash! Shout out the vision time lapse. Hole 16, 357, par three. This is the hole I'm most afraid of on Hornet's Nest. I don't think I've ever to this hole. Give it a little Anheuser. Ah, so bad. Every time you mess up with the dimension, just fix it with the time lapse. Yep, that's parked. That's it. That's a really good shot. All right, absolutely almost dunked it with the time lapse. I think I can firmly say after this video, I'm definitely a time-lapse guy versus a dimension guy. All right, this hole is no longer in. This is the original hole 18. The new hole is trash par three. The basket's right there. We're not gonna play that one. I'm just gonna launch one to where the old basket used to be. We got the dimension. We've got the time-lapse. These are gonna be the last two throws of the day. Just give you guys like my official breakdown of what I think of the new dimension. It's one of those things, if you don't mind the super wide rim, then it's something you're not gonna mind throwing. It's gonna go far. It's gonna push some of the farthest distance that you're able to push. I would advise getting the lightest one you can get your hands on, unless you throw a lot faster than I do. I throw between 60 and 64 miles an hour. This seems to be a bit too stable for me. Um, Jeremy's dimension I threw the other day was just fine. These green ones, if you want a more stable one, get the green one. This is 166 and it's pretty beefy. Um, but for now, I'll definitely continue to be leaning on the Fission time lapse versus the Fission Dimension. I do think the Fission Dimension's fun to have. 
I'm just surprised at how much more stable it was. So there is quite a bit of variation between the dimensions because as I keep mentioning, Jeremy's was a lot less stable. But let's see what we can do. Original 18, Hornet's Nest. Put this on some Anheuser. That's not Anheuser, but got a little tiny turn out of it. I threw it pretty hard. I definitely have been enjoying the time lapse a lot more. And I think you guys have seen, I've thrown it quite a bit better today as well. Time lapse just gets quite a bit more turn, a lot more easily. And overall, it's probably a better distance driver for me. Um, so I've been leaning on most of the time off the tee on any holes around 400 feet. Anyway, go get yours over at Power Grip USA. I'll see you guys in the next video and take care.